Okay, so to wrap up this lesson, uh, we've talked about a number of things, a number of ways of using um, different communication methods. Um, so, uh, number one, when you're communicating with a group of parents, um, don't, and, and you're trying to, you know, organize things with a group, um, and you need them to respond back uh, or follow up with you, don't use email reply alls. It just gets messy and nobody likes it, it's frustrating, and it's very time consuming. Uh, really turns parents off and it really makes your life a lot harder than it needs to be. So you want to think about using groups, uh, social groups, like on Facebook or on Hubly, think, you know, uh, uh, a tool that allows you to post one thing and manage the conversation thread so that everybody knows what's going on. Secondly, you really want to use uh, a calendar tool that, that allows uh, parents to synchronize their, uh, their different calendar apps of choice with your calendar system um, so that uh, you've got, you can just, you know, uh, you can just post your events in one calendar system. It should also filter um, events uh, to the right parents according to their, to their, the, the enrollment, the programs that their children are enrolled in. So again, you don't want to, what you want to stay away from is sharing a calendar uh, that has all the events going on for the whole school, ideally you have one calendar that automatically filters away events that the parents don't need to know about or don't need to be reminded of. Certainly don't, you, the parents do not want that information getting uh, synchronized with their, with their mobile phones or their Google Calendar. So it really does need to filter it out and it shouldn't take any labor. That stuff should happen automatically. But if you do that, then again, you can pull out that kind of event and announcement boring type of information outside of your newsletters and keep your newsletters focused on, on parent engagement, parent, um, parent uh, education, uh, fun, passionate, inspiring content that keeps your parents uh, opening up the emails more so than really long newsletters that are you know, 90% irrelevant to all the parents and, and only has 10% of information that they're kind of scrolling to find. You want to stay away from those because those will train parents to ignore your newsletters, whereas engaging inspirational content will train parents to pay attention and open up your newsletters. And lastly, um, that same type of information, that content that's uh, parent focused and really, really parent relevant you want to be taking that and also putting it on your blog. So not only are you communicating uh, and sharing this information and engaging your existing enrolled parents and helping retention, you're also taking that same information and using it on your website and your blog so that it's searchable and shareable so that you're engaging uh, prospective parents as well with that same, with that same type of uh, quality content.